So that was weird. Uh, there is something fascinating about these little fruits, but I'm not gonna lie, all the videos of people eating them, it's very strange. I feel like this is the natural progression of ASMR. Like this is some weird level of visual ASMR. There's gonna be a name for that. I think I've got a total of five. <laughs> Oh my God. So these are called jelly fruits and I think the reason why they're so popular is because when you bite sometimes they pop in the front and you lose your candy or they pop in your mouth weird. I don't understand. I've never tried it so we're gonna do it together. There is a little thing on top like a right way to eat it that isn't like ridiculous but obviously I guess the fun of it is that you just don't know what's gonna happen. This is plastic like <laughs> this is definitely not the way we should be eating it. Let's give it a try. Why am I scared? I'm scared of breaking a tooth. <laughs> like nothing is happening. I can't break it. <laughs> that has no flavor. My walls have got the flavor. <laughs> I think you can see it on camera. It literally splashed all over my wall. And the worst part is that it's got no flavor. It tastes like a sugar-free Kool-Aid. Like if you have a Kool-Aid and you remove all the fun from it. It tastes like a LaCroix. LaCroix? LaCroix? I'm only gonna try one more because it could be that the grape one just doesn't taste very good, but it honestly doesn't. What even is this? Is this like liver flavored? Like isn't it the shape of a liver? What fruit is shaped like that? Oh, maybe a strawberry. Oh, there's no way. This this is dumb. This is gonna pop everywhere. Wow. I'm still not getting any flavor. This one is almost like bitter. There's so many videos when people explode these, but no one ever speaks about the flavor. The flavor of these, maybe it's just me and my taste buds, but not worth the mess and definitely not worth how much I paid for it. So Okay. I saw this on TikTok. And I need to see if it's true. So you take one of these things, you stick it up through the butt of a lemon, I guess. <laughs> and then you squeeze it out and it's like a, whoa, it actually works. Oh my God, that is so That's cool. Being overly enthusiastic about things is my legacy. <laughs> And even I think this is like too good to be real. Like there's no way that if this works, the whole of humanity should know this. There's gonna be some downside to it. So anyways, we got a lemon here. They didn't even roll it or do anything to the lemon to like release more juice. They just literally, she just put the wood stick right in the tip, which is not that easy. Actually. Got a splinter from one of these ones. I am so fragile. Now that's my real legacy. All right, so we're gonna stick it in. So I think they move it around a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna move it a little more because my lemon feels really tough. Oh, I feel like we shouldn't have pierced it all the way. <laughs> this is gonna come out of both sides. So here's the moment of truth. Boy, please work. Oh, it's coming from the top now. <laughs> Wow. I'm gonna put my finger in a little hole on top. So let's actually give this a fair try. Okay, one, two. Nah, <laughs> this doesn't work. There is no way. And like, it's actually not coming from the top. Like it's the tiniest little. I think it might have worked if we went like to release the juices. That would have worked. I think that's probably what they've done in the video. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> I don't think it's real. Let's try with an orange, because I mean, I feel like if it works with a lemon, let's give this a try with an orange. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> I'm like 99% sure that we've just been trolled. Would you see carrots or do you see bacon? I'm about to make carrot bacon. Uh huh. You need a shaver. And then you shade it like so, like that. You see how it looks real thin? Uh-huh. Now you got a few strips, but you know what? If you want more than this, do that, because that's your business. You're going to need some liquid smoke, maple syrup. Don't call it a comeback, honey. He's been here for years. Garlic powder, smoked paprika, and a little bit of this onion powder with pepper. Like so, like that. Then mix this all up. 
because this is your seasoning. And this is your concoction for the carrots to turn it into the bacon. Then put the bacon in there. Make sure it get thoroughly seasoned. You can leave it in there for about two minutes or so. Put it in your air fryer or your oven. 380 for five minutes. Take it out and baby, you got some bacon in there. Let's check the crunch. Listen real good. Yeah, I think this might be the first time in this video that I'm actually hopeful because the lady in the video seems like she knew what she was doing. Also, it sounds delicious. The only thing I don't know is whether this will taste like bacon. Like that's a very big claim that you can make carrots taste like bacon, but my attention is all yours. Here's the thing. I don't have one of those peelers to peel the carrots. So, um, I mean, I guess that kind of works with a knife. I was going to use that little hole in the center because that's what it's for, right? Let's see if this works. I feel like this is not going to work and I'm going to bleed. We're about to transform this into real bacon. Nope. Oh, I think we went too deep. Even though she's using like a peeler, they're not that thin. So I'm going to try. Oh, this is way too thin. I mean, we've officially got all thicknesses. If this works, I mean, we will know. All right. Oh, that's a really good one. Oh, that was perfect. I feel like this is exactly, it's very similar to the length that she had and it's almost see-through. I wish we had a few more of these. I'm gonna try, but I mean, I can't promise anything. Oh, that's gonna be good. That even looks like the shape of bacon. To make the marinade, uh, we're gonna use some of that liquid smoke seasoning. Some garlic granules. Oh, that smells, that smells like bacon. Uh, this is some onion powder. And this is the maple syrup. Okay, I'm not, well, I wasn't gonna use all of it, but, and now we're going to mix this. Oh, my garlic is so chunky. It's like smoky maple. It smells like Canada on fire. I think in the video, the lady said five minutes. So that is how long I'm gonna do it for. Ooh, that's a really good slice. So I'm gonna try to line them up in the bottom, but it might not be enough, so we might have to go up on the sides a little bit. Ugh. So this is kind of what it looks like. Um, I tried to do some on the sides, but none of them is sitting on top of the other. Five minutes in the oven um, at like a ridiculously high temperature. I'll show you the results in a second. That's interesting because it became a lot smaller. Oh, this is really hot, but it became... It became really tiny, but it doesn't seem that crispy. Let me grab a crispier one. That literally, like the flavor, obviously, it's tastes like bacon. The weird part is the texture of it is like bacon, like. It literally has the texture of bacon, like, wow. Watch me on my TikTok make bacon every morning from now on. Links below. This is insane. It's like the flavor, it tastes like bacon, but I'm not surprised because we added the smokiness, the garlic and everything else. Like if I close my eyes, it's like I just got the crispiest like bit of bacon. Mind blown. Speechless. Hey guys, we got these jelly straws and here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> After seeing the video, I can't say that I'm excited to try this, but we're doing it for science or for whatever reason. So when I ordered these on eBay, they were also insanely overpriced that I was like, I'm gonna put it in a video now because otherwise this is just sad that this is sitting in my house. So we're gonna open it. Oh, that's a weird consistency. It's like flubber if flubber went on a diet. Kind of love that consistency. I'm gonna open a new one just so we can try it the same way they do. So what people do on TikTok, they basically inhale like the whole thing. That honestly cannot be good for you.
That's the worst flavor I've ever had, like ever. I'm gonna try it with a different one. You suck on it and then it comes up when you least expect. So I guess that's the fun of it. Like it's really easy to stop it once it comes up, but I mean, maybe I'm not sucking enough. Mm. I hate that. I'm gonna do it one last time with a different flavor. I honestly dislike every single one of these flavors. I hope this is apple, maybe I like this one. I'm gonna suck really hard and see what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was about to say that I think everyone is being really dramatic about these, but like this last one, I was sucking so hard that it literally, like I felt like it was gonna go all the way to my lungs, come out on the other side. Very similar to the other one, I think the appeal of these is that it's a very jelly, slimy candy that sort of like goes everywhere and has a lot of movement, that's fun. But like I do have to say, the flavor of these, it sucks, it's really bad, it's like really bad candy. So you start by peeling the banana, which I evidently can't do, so you're left with just the skin, and then scrape away all the fleshy bit from the inside of the skin. And then use soy sauce, piri piri seasoning, and silver spoon sweetener or sugar, we just ran out, for the marinade. And then you're gonna marinate the skins for like 10 minutes and then just place them in the pan. And they'll need about five minutes on each side. So just flip them when they look done. And then they'll go really crispy and that's when you know that they're ready. And that's it, banana skins. Also, they sort of taste a bit like bacon. I'd give them like six out of 10 for tasting like bacon, but they are really potent. Under normal circumstances, I would have watched this video and just say, well, there's no way we can make the peels of a banana taste nice because otherwise everyone else would be doing this. However, after trying that bacon, I can believe anything. Like if you tell me that we can make bacon out of kale, I wouldn't be that surprised. So um, we're gonna give it a try. Wow, this if this becomes bacon, that would be like a nice slice. We love bacon with the dessert on the inside. <laughs> She removed that bit of flesh. I'm gonna attempt to do the same thing. I'm gonna be really quiet so you guys can hear the sound of that, like peeling off. It's like Mozart could never. Okay, I went a little bit too hard. It kind of looks like how we did in the video, I think. Like we removed most of the flesh. So now we are going to transform this into bacon. I've got the exact same ingredients she used. So we've got some soy sauce. Uh, this is some chili and garlic chicken seasoning, which is basically the closest I could find to the peri peri one. Oh my god, there's a spoon in there. The girl in the video used some sweetener, so I've got some sweetener as well. That smells really nice, but it smells like sushi. It doesn't smell like bacon, but okay. So now we throw that in there. And we might honestly could work. I hope you guys enjoy our new cooking platform. You know, when you come to my channel, we always put the best budget possible. In the video, she sprayed it with this. Okay, I might have overly done that. This is gonna turn into bacon quickly. Do you see those bubbles? Science. My fire alarm is gonna go off. So that wasn't stressful at all and my ears are definitely not buzzing right now. Even though we cooked it for the five minutes, it did get a lot smaller. So I guess all the moisture is out, but it still looks like banana. Let's give it a try. I mean, when it gets to the end, you get all those little, the tough fibers. It's like a ball of like, chewiness. I don't hate it. I just don't think this tastes like bacon at all. 
I'm pretty sure what I love is the spices, like the soya sauce and the seasoning. And to be completely fair, I also think because I love the carrot one so much, I guess if you eat a banana, you can try it. It's not terrible, it's okay. I'm the first to admit that the video, like this TikTok, actually looks like a really cool idea to transform the pancakes into like a mini cereal. However, I think this is one of those that we're gonna go through the effort of making it and then in the end we're gonna be like, I'm still eating pancakes. First of all, I've got some pancake mixture. This is like the standard pancake mixture consistency, so if it doesn't squeeze out of here, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised. <gasps> easier if we do a Gordon Ramsay. So we got the mixture in a squeezy bottle, which is basically the only thing they've done. If this squeezes out, then I stand corrected. This is actually gonna be a lot of fun. Oh my God. I already love this. Oh my God, this is so much fun. This is so cute. <laughs> How do I know which ones are cooked already? Okay. I think we need to lower the temperature. Okay, the size is a little bit inconsistent, but I'm like freaking out with the time. I don't know how much I need to fill up a whole bowl like they did in the video, so I'm just gonna literally do every single empty space. I'm gonna give a prize to whoever goes through the trouble of counting how many pancakes we've made. And still the equivalent of like two pancakes at I hope. I feel like this is gonna be my last one. Okay, maybe now it's my last one. Okay, now it's my last one. Also me when I buy a share box of chicken nuggets. Am I seriously gonna have to flip every single one individually? This is an actual nightmare. We're gonna have to flip. Oh my god. Some of them are really brown and the other ones are like just, it's so cute. This is what SpongeBob feels like flipping Krabby Patties. Like, I'm gonna be here. My arms hurt. Oh, we've got a really toasty one. All right. Oh my God, this is the last one. That was so emotional. Can you imagine how satisfying it's gonna be to scoop all of these out? Like the sounds that that's gonna make. I'm gonna be using a see-through bowl so you guys can see exactly how much and how this is what it's gonna look like. I'm that friend who makes terrible life decisions but really cares for you when it comes to the little things. So here we've got our little bowl of cereal. Mine look really yellow for pancakes but that's because I use like homemade eggs because getting the timings is so difficult. Some of them are like really pale and the other ones are like really dark. In the video, they poured butter and syrup. The reason why this is so confusing, it's because they call it pancake cereal, but they never add milk to it. So there's literally no difference. It's slightly drier than usual. It's not even a huge difference. Now I want to test this out the way I wish they had which is pouring actual milk into it. I do wonder if the shape is going to hold. That's good. It's like a soft cookie crisp. That is incredible. That is so much better than without milk. Like it's soggy, but like in the best way, a religious experience that I was not expecting. Uh, who here has ever milked a cucumber? So the last time I was in Utah, my sister-in-law was kind of making this vegetable tray and she was like, oh, I'm gonna milk the cucumber. And I said, excuse me, like I'm from the South, I'm from New Orleans. I know most little tricks and I've never heard of that, but she did it and she learned from her husband who's from Alabama, um, his grandfather. So you cut the edge off the cucumber like this and then you start like rubbing it together in circular motions you see, you can already see that white stuff coming out. So I don't know if you've ever had a cucumber that's a little bit bitter, like it just doesn't taste fresh. That's because you have to milk your cucumbers. So I am a master milker now. 
The only reason we're even trying this, just to remind you guys that my videos continue to be weird throughout the years. I think I'm just gonna slice it already, okay. It wasn't very clear what the point of milking a cucumber was. Like, what is it? Is that supposed to be like dirt that you wanna like remove? But then you're only removing it in like, does this make any sense? Like, I don't know, maybe I'm putting too much thought into this. I don't know guys, I'm just gonna do it. Wow. And nothing is happening. Maybe it's because British cucumbers are like cleaner. It's like releasing some juices, but there's no milk. I'm trying to give you guys a close up of it. Like nothing is happening. I'm going in circles. I'm going in all possible angle. And like, I think we can safely say that you cannot milk a cucumber, at least not this cucumber. Premium content delivered to you for free every single week. Do let me know if you guys enjoy this video. I was supposed to do this a few months ago, but just never came around to it. If you'd like to see a part two, you guys know what to do, so I'm not gonna bother you too much. All I'm gonna say before you guys go is that I would really appreciate if you guys spare three seconds to go and subscribe to my channel. There's a subscribe button down below. You can also tap the notification bell or you might not want to do that, but I'd really appreciate if you have a good time watching my videos. That's the only thing that I really ask. I've got a lot more of cake videos that I know you guys have been requesting. I'm working on it, trying to put them together, ideas, budgets, the whole thing. It just takes me a little bit of time, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see you guys very, very soon. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.